I'm glad you got 64 gigs in my new computer then. Why do so many people not believe this? Even somebody earlier is like, well, why do I need more than 16? 32 is a waste. That's why. No, it's not. That's Your thinking is out of date. I have computers with 16, with 32, with 64, and 120. I've got two computers with 128 gigs. No, you don't need 128. Uh, that's professional content creation. That's a separate beast. Her new Ryzen 9 has 64 gigs of RAM for a reason. It does. She will use it. I will. I actually specifically went out and bought that RAM for that machine. It wasn't like, well, I had it on the shelf, so I'll throw it in her computer. I spent new money to buy that for her because I know she'll use it. This whole 16 gigs is all you need is, you know what? If you get an i3-10-100, 16 gigs of RAM with a GTX 1650, $150 graphics card to play Overwatch and League of Legends, you're correct. That's all you need. Yep. But you know what? You don't need a new computer if that's all you're doing. That's true. <laughs> a five-year-old computer will do that. And uh, a Haswell with DDR3 will play those games fine. And I, you, you know that guy that we, did, that we answered the Byte Says Tech on? He has an i7-4790K? Yes. yes, I remember that. You either are happy with that CPU and you don't need an upgrade, or you're not happy with it, you need an upgrade, and you need a heck of a lot more than 16 gigs of RAM. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which... Yeah, but Rory, if people can't afford a PC with an i9 or a Ryzen 9, they shouldn't be buying a computer. They should be working and earning money. What was the question? No, I understand that. But here's the thing. This live stream is about a mid-level build at $1,000. This is a whole new computer with case, power supply, and everything. There's 32 gigs of RAM priced in here. This is an i7, not an i9. It's a compromise choice for people who don't have $2,000 to build an ultimate computer. Correct. But there's still 32 gigs of RAM in here. If you put 16 in, you'd save 50 bucks, which is 5%. If $50 on a $1,000 build makes or breaks you, something's wrong with your budgeting system. Yes. Because you would hobble this computer. You would hobble. Wrong chip. You would hobble an 8-core 16-thread chip with an RX 5600 XT at 1440p in modern games. Everything from Call of Duty Modern Warfare to Borderlands 3 to a lot of the new and upcoming games is going to want more than 16 gigs of RAM. Will it run in 16? Yeah. This is a $1,000 build. It's worth the $50. Well, yes, because I've gone from 16 to 32 to 64 to 128 to 32 to 16. You notice the difference. Well, we did that. I actually took her computer at home had 32 in it. And I needed that 32 for some, something I was doing. And I temporarily swapped in a 16 gig kit. I didn't know she could throw a frying pan that far. Yeah, did the, the... She made me put that back pretty quick. You were actually quite grumpy about that. I was grumpy about that. Because you notice it. You're you like, do. what's the big deal? And then you look at your RAM counter and Windows and you play your programs. Well, you you go, can't use your computer like you used to. And it's like, what the heck? If you don't think it makes a difference, it's because either you don't really do anything with your computer or you have never experienced it.